video saw that comment. You there? Yeah. No, so, uh, did you actually see that comment? Huh? Did you go to that video and saw that comment? What comment? The one I was, I was telling you about. Hello? Yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I saw it. Yeah. Oh, you lost? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what kind of... The, the crazy Xbox guy? I saw it. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I do want to talk about that, right? I do want to talk about that. That dude just went crazy. Like these, I don't know what's up with these people, man. Like, like, come on, man. You know the Xbox hadn't had no games in a minute. Like, just look at their exclusive lineup these past couple years. It's just been so bad, and they still want to damage control this shit. Like, come on. Oh yeah, we are allowed to. But uh. Yeah, I noticed. I heard them echo. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am plugged. I got my headphones off, so it should be no echo. No, 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 because I had the video in the background. I didn't turn the volume off yet. Oh, okay, okay. So we got we got 15 watching right now. All right, uh, I guess we get. I guess we gonna get started. Uh, what's up, people? What's up? What's up, everybody? It's your boy Real Gaming 27 back again. Another episode of the Alex and Real Show. I uh, got some random talks topics we want to talk about today. Of course, it could be mostly Nintendo. Um, as far as Xbox, I ain't really got nothing positive to say because I ain't got no damn games to play. Uh, play <laughs> PlayStation, uh, they got games, so all I'm doing is, is playing just my games. I, I'm just shutting my mouth up. I ain't got nothing negative to say about Sony because they actually give me what I want. It's games. Uh, Nintendo, lots and lots of news about Nintendo, about the rumors of Dark Souls 3. Uh, it's probably already ready, oh, just... They probably they just waiting on sales and you know in order for them to release that I think they're waiting on sales. Uh, of course, you got the um, they just had a was a GDC meeting or something like that. And they said like out of forty five hundred developers, they said only three percent three percent of the developers is making games for the Switch, in which I call bullshit. Uh, what else? Uh, Nintendo is doubling the production of the Switch because of the. The high demand of the console, in which that's really good news. But first, I want to talk about. Oh yeah, I guess before we get get started, let's go and get your your intro out the way, Alex. All right, what's going on, everyone? Active in here. We're back for another week of the Alex and Real Show. We got some <clears throat> Nintendo stuff to talk about. Uh, we'll talk about some. Uh, I think we got some Xbox and stuff. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll see. What, we'll see. As far as Xbox, the only thing we can talk about is is Scorpio and Babbage compatibility. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Scorpio and Baptist compatibility. That's all. That's it. There's no games. Uh, unless uh, yeah, they, they released another controller variant, another color. Oh, gosh. So that's <laughs> I Are we going to talk about Mass Effect? <laughs> I, I don't even know, man. I don't even know what the video. Well, you can. Oh, uh, I got. They should be embarrassed. <laughs> all right, as far as I, I want to call out this, uh, he actually is one of my subscribers. Uh, he made a comment on my last video with the Real Talk with the Real Gamer podcast. Uh, what does he call himself? Killer She Heaven? Killer She Heaven 82? That's on my late my last video. And that person basically said, Real Talk now. Uh, so you call, you call yourself a real gamer and you say Xbox One has no games. September 2016. Record Forza Horizon 3 and Killer Instinct. Where were your hashtag PlayStation has no games video? Question mark, question mark, question mark. October 2016, Gears of War 4. Uh, no hashtag PlayStation has no games video either. December 2016, Dead Rising 4. Didn't see any hashtag PlayStation has no games video. You call your, you you uh, you call people fag boys, but you act like one. I'm calling you out. <laughs> <laughs> Say, first of all, I don't call nobody no fag boy because first of all, I don't say any, I don't say anything that that basically uh, uh, pisses off the homosexuals. I don't say the word fag on this channel. So first of all, don't even don't even say that. I ain't trying we to. We say uh, fuck boys. We on this say channel, sir. fuck boys. I don't want to uh, offend anybody from the LGBT community. I don't want nobody slamming my comment section with that. Oh, you. Uh, anti-homosexual. I ain't got time for that. I don't call nobody fat boys. I, I, don't, I don't roll that way. Uh, second, of all, second of all, yes, we know that Xbox has those games that you listed. That was last year. In 2016. We are in the year, year 2017. 
I don't know. I don't know what what time this guy lives in, but I don't live in September 2016. Do you live in September 2016, or or do you live in uh, March 2017 at the moment? Last time I checked, we live in March of 2017. So this guy must. That's be what I thought. This this guy. Up this guy must have a, a time machine, and he wants to stay in a time where Xbox had an exclusive. <laughs> but that time is gone, my friend. Gone. <laughs> but <laughs> it is gone I, I, and even those games that he mentioned Recore on pc forza horizon 3 on pc gears of war 4 on pc like i don't even care about what's going on pc it's just the lack of quantity of games in which we're not getting for the xbox one is the issue because we even uh was on on we was on live and we was counting how many exclusives that the xbox had in the previous two years and we named like eight and we named like right. nine exclusives for the playstation 4 in which we have right now that came out this year in 2017. If these Xbox mm-hmm. dudes or Xbox chicks cannot freaking understand it, then they are some fuckboys to the extreme. <laughs> How can you damage control this shit? I don't, I don't get it, man. <laughs> like, just be real about what you're seeing. That's all. That's all. You just have to be real about what's happening. They can't be real. I, I don't know what to say, man. It's just they so attach emotionally attached to their console that they don't see the bullshit their corporations is doing like what you said a while ago microsoft is once again what they once again uh release new controllers oh my god that is ugly is that the animation yeah this is uh, what i was talking about this is the animation in mass effect andromeda ew that is ugly That's and the I'm one on the right about. is from 10 years ago I, I'd rather take the one on the right. Oh my god, it's so ugly. But yeah, anyway, like I was so like, terrible. <laughs> like I was saying, people, like, come on, man. Like, I'm just calling the bullshit. If y'all don't see it, then come on. Like, this person tell my worst old hashtag PlayStation has no games videos. Go, go search through my channel about a, a year ago, and you will see a lot of anti Sony cha- uh, videos. Anti-Sony. Yeah, like seriously, how many how many podcasts did we have dedicated to shitting on Sony because of how poorly they were doing? I had a I had a podcast saying that Sony is fucking over forty million uh, uh, console owners. I said that. So these yeah. people, these people don't they don't know my channel. They don't know me. They basically they hear what they want to hear. That's that's the problem here. They hear what they want to hear. It's just so it's, yeah. It's just crazy. What you? What you think about these people, these these fuck boys in this community, man? They just so. And right now, it's mostly Xbox guys, which is why we're kind of picking on them at the moment because they're the most ridiculous. Because they're like in complete damage control mode. They're saying things that don't make sense. They're lying. They're making excuses. All for whatever reason. Who cares? Like, uh, who who really knows why? Maybe they're just a crazy person. Maybe they want to divert your attention from microsoft and point your attention towards sony or nintendo uh i I don't understand why like if if you like xbox and they're doing a bad job you should be the one tweeting phil and be like hey phil where are our exclusive games why do you keep canceling games why are we only getting multi-plats like you're the consumer you should be asking them this not be like what 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 Sony three years ago. <laughs> like, what is that? <laughs> they so like, they so they so worried like, about that, they so worried about anything. they so worried about Sony. Like, yeah, like the first couple years, they said yes, our first party launch will be sparse. Sony even warned us about that. But look what's right. going on now. We have a lot of games. So I have nothing negative to say about Sony right now. But they keep on going back two years ago for some reason. It's just I know. Crazy. It's crazy. Like, we don't live in a time of two years ago. We are past that. Sony's dry season is it's done. They're they pumping out exclusive after exclusive, and Microsoft has no answers for it, and these guys won't say a fucking word. Like, the, what do you have to be excited for? A fucking Sea of Thieves? That game looks like shit. Absolute fucking garbage. And Candleman? Candleman? Whatever it is? Like, are you kidding me with that dog shit? What the hell is that? A cuphead looks good, but like, when is it coming out? And then we have Crackdown Three, which we haven't seen in a long time. Mm-hmm. I hope it's good, but it, it, we'll see. I think that's it, right? 
That is a, uh, what, State of Decay? Because they killed Scalebound. State of Decay 2, I think. Oh, yeah, State of Decay 2, another fucking zombie game. They just gave us Left 4 Dead 4, paraded it around as an exclusive, and it turned out it was a timed exclusive. Oh, you talking about Dead Rising 4? You said Left 4 Dead. Is, isn't that what I said? Yeah, you said Left 4 Dead. Left 4 Dead. Oh, my bad. Dead Rising 4, yeah. Yeah, it's a timed exclusive. It's not exclusive on Xbox or Windows 10. It's also coming to PS4. One probably uh yeah. probably the same time frame came out uh with the Xbox One gonna probably come out in December as well too. Like either way it go, if you're on a PS4, just wait for the PS4 version. Go, go, go uh, it's just like it's just crazy to see these guys get hyped up for, for trash. Like we're getting stuff like near automata, like that game got what, like a ninety three on fucking Metacritic. They got Horizon just came out, high quality games and these guys voodoo Vince, Candle Man. <laughs> <laughs> we got games xbox 360 games uh, <laughs> more well, color controllers well, xbox all, is the best spot with all that money microsoft has it, it, it just doesn't make sense on how sony is it doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense on how sony is eating them alive with exclusives all that money they have Why? how is sony <laughs> the company fighting to keep the lights on pumping out more exclusives than microsoft the, one of the richest companies in, in the, the world. the galaxy. The galaxy. They have so much money. They could wipe their ass with a million dollar bill. It is wouldn't even hurt oh them. Oh, my God. It wouldn't even hurt them. But yet they struggle. And then if you look at Sony and they're, they're shutting down buildings just to keep the fucking lights on. It doesn't make any sense. But that's, that's why I just don't understand when it comes to these Xbox dudes, these extremists. Look, guys. I love Xbox. I've been... You probably followed me on my Xbox, and if you if you've been playing your Xbox, and if you haven't seen me online for a while, we playing no games for a while. That means I have no games to play. I have no games to play. Meaning Microsoft has been struggling trying to give us first party games. Like I didn't buy this console p to play a lot of backwards compatibility games. I bought the console to play new games. There's nothing wrong with backwards compatibility games. It's like a cherry on top. It's an extra. It's an extra to me. They're but using it as a crutch. Like, it's supposed to be an add-on to their new games, but all they're doing is giving you old games and new controllers yeah. and a new console. Go to Xbox. Like, I don't... Google Xbox I One News. Go to Google Xbox One News. Go to Google, put Xbox One News. First thing <clears> you <throat> see, Scorpio. Backwards compatibility uh, games. Scorpio. Backwards compatibility... Uh, I can't fucking talk. Backwards compatibility games. That's all you see. Where is the fuck the new games at? Where are these games that they've been promising us for three years? We still don't know the release dates of these games, which does not make sense at all. I'm frustrated. A lot of Xbox fans are frustrated. These Xbox fuckboys, you don't matter to me because I put y'all, I put y'all in that same category with these delusional Nintendo fanboys. Y'all delusional. All y'all are delusional as yeah. Hell. They're right up with it. Like the Xbox uh, refugee camp has gotten really bad over the last couple of months. Like, Sony dropped eight exclusives in two months. Microsoft gave you Halo Wars 2. Uh, that that doesn't even come close to comparing with what Sony's offering. Like, they got nothing. Phil won't talk. He won't say a goddamn word. Anytime he, anytime he does open his mouth, he's like, wait for the Scorpio. Wait for the Scorpio, guys. Yeah. And then in, in the next interview, he'll say something like, oh, don't worry about Scorpio. The Xbox One S to be our main seller. The Scorpio is for ex, um, ex enthusiasts. It's a it's a niche product, yep. and then he just changes what he <laughs> says every time. But the the one constant that he never says is where the fucking games. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I, I'm sick. Of, I'm sick and I'm tired of this uh, Scorpio news and backwards compatibility news. I'm just tired of it. You know where is Fable? Where is Halo Six? Where hell? Bring back Blink's Time Sweepers. Bring these these IPs back. Where is Perfect Dark Zero? What the hell are you doing with Rare? What's going on with Rare? Like, what is, what's, what's going on with their, their games? Like, what is, I'm sick and I'm tired of Halo, Gears, and Forza. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I would love it Halo 6 because Halo 5, I was a little disappointed with the, with the story. They could, we, I yeah, know. Halo 5's story was terrible. I, yes, we know their story is a lot better than what, the, what they provided us. But I, I want a Halo 6 badly because they need to redeem themselves. But as far as, as, yeah. as Gears and, and Forza, they need to give them a break. Give it a break. Give them all a break. We could have a Halo Wars uh, uh, 2. So we just need new games. We need new exclusives or they need to basically 
um, get these other games from like uh, Quantum Break and and uh, what's that other one, uh, Sunset Overdrive, and make it a sequel. Make it a yeah. sequel. Like that's that's been the issue. They don't they don't capitalize off of some of their uh, their exclusives. They, they always... let so many of their franchises <sighs> die. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Uh, let me see. Uh, first of all, can everybody hear me? Because somebody said that they could barely hear me. Can can y'all? It's in the chat. Can y'all hear me? Let me know. Oh no, my he says internet is bad. Okay, okay, that's his internet. Oh okay, okay. Did uh, you turn your volume up? No, I'm good on my side because as soon as he said that he could barely hear me, I was looking at my volume on the OBS, so I'm good. Oh okay, must be his end then. Yeah, he says internet is, is messing up on him. But I guess we want to go to something else. Uh, talk about some. We can, um, like there's really nothing to talk about with Xbox, man. I was just basically addressing this dude's comment. Like it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure this out on Microsoft and on the, the struggles they having with the with the exclusives department. Like like I said, it doesn't make sense. You know they got more money than Sony, a lot more money, but Sony is spitting out a lot more exclusives, giving people the reason to continuously and buy the PS4 and play the PS4. So yeah, like, like it would be nice if we had something to talk about for Xbox, but they they got it. nothing going on. Yeah, like there's only one positive. Unless talk. you want to start hyping up the fucking Scorpio, but to be honest, I just don't give a shit. Only, only positive thing I can say like, about, mm. about, about, about the <laughs> Xbox is the Game Pass. That is very positive in which it's, it's uh, forcing some. Yeah, that was put, awesome. That, that was a really awesome. cool thing that they did. That's, that's awesome. Yeah. But, but then again, like, the, the, the games is the main is the main thing I want to talk about. If there's no games, then it's kind of hard to hype up the other little stuff, even though I think it's, it's good for gaming. But, like, the main ingredients is exclusives. That will make your console your console. That will make Sega Sega when they had Sonic and Streets of Rage and Golden Axe. They had all those, those yeah. exclusives. That would make Sega Sega. Alex the Kid uh, with, with Nintendo. What made Nintendo? Mario's, uh, Zelda, Metroid. Like that made that made freaking Nintendo. Like with Sony, right. I, I could go with Crash. I could go with Twisted Metal, uh, Uncharted, The Last of Us, uh, Jack and Dexter. That made Sly Cooper. I could go on and on. What what made Sony? They got a lot of exclusives. They have a lot of exclusives. You know, but damn, man, like, come on, y'all Xbox dudes, y'all have to realize this, man. Y'all, if, if, if the only games that you are getting on your platform of choice is only multi-plat games in which I can play on my PlayStation 4 or on a PC, like, what's the reason of owning an Xbox if you don't have no games to separate themselves from the competitors? That is, like, biggest and, issue, And again, people. like, that, that issue does not change with the Scorpio. The Scorpio does not solve their biggest problem, which is Sony is murdering them when it yep. comes to exclusive games. And it, they will still have the multiplats. Will the Scorpio run the multiplats better than the PS4 and PS4 Pro? Yes, absolutely. But at the same time, you can still get all those games over there. And Sony has more exclusives, higher quality exclusives as well, because sometimes I see these idiot fucking moron xbox guys say well we want quality not quantity but sony pumps out more exclusive games and they're always higher rated yep. so they have quality and quantity yep <laughs> that's the... that is what keeps their playstation winning that's why they're like 30 million fucking consoles ahead not because their console plays in 1080 and the Xbox plays in 900p. I feel really bad for you if you think that's the actual reason why they've been losing this entire generation. Because yeah. you don't get it. They, you don't get they it. You will never get it. The Xbox, yeah. the Xbox as a console, it's a good console. The Xbox One is a really pretty console. I love... I, I just, yeah, there's I, I stuff that the Xbox does that it's, it's is good. better than the PlayStation. It's good. Yeah. But if you ain't got the games to back it up, then you're going to have a, 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 a dry spell, sort of what, what the Nintendo fans have with the Wii U. Like, the only thing that the Nintendo <laughs> owners have to look for is Nintendo exclusives. So the only right. thing that the Xbox owner has to be looking for is multiplayer, because that's all they can do. And backwards compatible games. Oh, that too. Well, guess what? The Wii U has backwards compatible uh, backwards compatibility games. Yeah, it had you it know? natively day one. They didn't have to wait three years for it. But then again, like, but then again, like, it's not fully backwards compatibility because we gotta wait and see which game they're gonna put on there. But with the Wii U, you can put whatever Wii game you want to put in there and play it. Yeah, not, exactly. Not, it was a hundred percent compatibility. Like not with the sprinkles that Microsoft is doing right now. That's frustrating. That is, mm -hmm. I don't like that. I don't like that. 
you know, but it just makes me more pissed off to keep hearing news about backwards compatibility. I can't, I can't talk today. I cannot say the word backwards compatibility. I cannot say it. It's just pissing me off every time they keep saying that shit. Like, if you ain't got no <laughs> games, they're going to be just so fucking pissed, man. That's all they want, man. All they want. Makes me sad. Yeah. It just makes me sad. It, it does. Uh, okay, let's let's go somewhere. Else. Let's let's go to the Nintendo community. I, I didn't forget about y'all, Nintendo fanboys. Uh, some of these YouTubers, I'm not calling no names out. Y'all has been true to y'all selves about how Nintendo is. You know how they operate. You know y'all bringing up the stuff they need to correct and all that. But I understand. I'm hyped for the Switch. I like the Switch. I'm I'm excited about the Switch. You know, let's don't forget that the Switch also has some issues. I even had an issue with it. But it's just, it's not about the Switch. It's about other stuff. It's about some of Nintendo's <laughs> business practices that really pisses me off. But since y'all so blinded by the greatness of the Switch, it's like y'all, it's like y'all forget about the other issues that needs to get brought up with Nintendo. Like we, like some of y'all is back to that damage control with some of these channels. I'm not going to call out nobody, but y'all know who y'all are. And I'm, I'm getting sick of it. We cannot progress as a Nintendo community if we will if we will not address the issues with Nintendo. There's issues that needs to get addressed. It is. Like they've been struggling with third party support. It's a shame that a lot of these Nintendo I'm not talking about some of these you these uh, subscribers. I'm talking about these Nintendo content creators keep making excuses for them. What is the deal? It's like Nintendo is listening to y'all content creators in which y'all are damage controller for Nintendo. That discourages me, and it's pathetic. Like, if y'all want Nintendo to keep up with the competition, if y'all want them, I don't, I'm not going to say be like Microsoft and Sony, but just keep up with modern-day technology, modern-day features, whatever, then you have, you have a voice, and you know what to do. Just say it and don't be afraid of some of your subscribers in which a lot of them, they don't like negativity in which they think it's negativity. It's not negativity. It's called tough love. If you don't show tough love, then you will never address any issues. <clears throat> and that's what's going right. on with, with the Nintendo community. And it discourages they're still me. Saying, they're still saying turn your volume up. Oh, they are? Really? Mm -hmm. I'm right. Like, Double check OBS. Maybe, maybe you have to turn your mic volume higher. Let me see. Uh, it, it's it's high. Let me see. Hello, hello. Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? Uh, it it is high. Hmm, that's weird. Who who's telling me to turn it up? Um, it is turned up all the way. I don't know. This uh, trigger man said, "Turn up your mic volume." Trigger man. Okay, everybody else, can y'all hear me in the stream? Okay, now they're saying it's better. I didn't do nothing. <laughs> I didn't do right, nothing. Go to your OBS. Uh, go to your OBS, and the one that says mic, click the little gear, like beside the uh, the volume symbol, and go to filters, and yeah. uh, you can turn up the volume even higher from there, like the gain. Oh, you can on. turn that higher. Um, it's. Well, I'm there, but it's, uh, it doesn't. It's blank. What do you mean it's blank? I'm there on the filters, and it's, it's blank. It's not showing nothing. But I don't oh, know. Oh, sorry. Uh, on the bottom left, click plus and click gain. No, I'm on filters and hold on. Yeah, I know. You have to add the filter. So once you're in the filters oh, page, I got go you. down to the very bottom left and click the plus sign and click uh, click gain. Okay. Okay, I got you. And turn. And then you can raise the volume from there. Okay. So how's that, people? You can turn it higher. You don't. You don't have to put it to the maximum, but you can turn it a little higher in there. Okay. So how's that, people? Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? Just wait till this thing catches up, I guess. Okay. Cause um yeah I'm over I'm speak speaking the truth about Nintendo and these content creators not show hate that y'all didn't hear a word I said. Okay, now they're saying it's better. Okay, good. Like like I was saying, man, like I am fans of some of these 
Nintendo content creators. You know, but some some of these guys, like, come on, guys, we have to grow up. Like, y'all, a lot of y'all guys, at least in y'all mid to late twenties or even y'all thirties, like, come on, like, if you got kids, I don't know how many times I'm gonna bring up this an analogy. If y'all got kids, in order for your kids to get better in grades, get better in sports, what you need to do, you need to show tough love. You need to let them know what you need to do in order to get better. If you're going to sit there and tell them that you're doing great, you're the best player on the team, even though you're the sorry player, they're not going to get better. That's the same way on how I feel about Nintendo. You continuously keep telling Nintendo, oh, y'all the best, y'all the best, even though they are the worst in some aspects. I'm not saying they're the worst as far as gaming, but as far as modern-day technology, as far as the specs. Yeah, certain things. It's they're certain things. Definitely way behind. Way behind, but yet we... No, like, not we. For example, like... You can't even take your save file and transfer it to the SD card on the Switch. Like that's stupid. That's that, retarded. That that is that is really dumb. I know. I know. You can't even like if you if you download a game on your internal hard drive and then you buy a SD card like the next week, you can't transfer that game to the memory card. You have to actually delete the whole game and then download it again to put it on the memory card. That's retarded. That is retarded. Like. They need to do something about this universal cloud system. We need a cloud system, a cloud save system. Like, yeah, absolutely. For... There, there is a cloud save system apparently, because um, if your Nintendo Switch breaks and you send it to Nintendo and they fix it or they replace it or whatever and they send it back to you, when you log into your account, your save file downloads. So they have a way to do it. It's just not publicly available to us yet. That's Which, just again is retarded. It's dumb. <laughs> It's dumb, like it's dumb. I, 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 like it's easy for my PS4 and Xbox One. Like if anything happens to my 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 other consoles, and if I want to get in the new one, I ain't got to worry about my about my saves. I don't got to worry about my games because it's going to be there. It's going to be exactly. there when I get another console. I don't have to worry like, about like when them. When I had my uh, when I had my Xbox One, and I upgraded to the Xbox One S, I plugged in the Xbox One S, typed in my username, logged in, all my shit was there. It's there. So why? Is Nintendo so far behind? Like, I don't understand. Sony is from Japan alongside with Nintendo. So why is Nintendo so far behind with Sony, even though they live in the same region? What is going right. on? That kind of stuff bothers me. It, it annoys me. <laughs> Japan is not a third world country. What the hell is no, going absolutely. on? It's like some of the stuff that Nintendo does is third world. If you want, you know, if you want to do the, the the gaming logics, but I'm just saying, it just doesn't make sense. It it is a little bothersome. It is, it is very frustrating. But you know, ever since Sega stepped foot out of this console market, in which they was my favorite console uh, company, but Nintendo, you know, I basically fell in love with Nintendo as well. Like they are my last of my childhood, cause PlayStation wasn't here when I first started gaming. It was Sega and Nintendo. And if Nintendo will step foot at this gaming market, I'll be like, well, there go my childhood. It's, it's gone. It's gone. Because I grew up on the Genesis <laughs> and the Super Nintendo. And if, like I say, man, don't, don't get me wrong. Nintendo, they got a lot of money. They they doing what they're doing. But as far as console-wise, I, I, sometimes I just sometimes I just don't have faith in them sometimes because of their continuous stupidity. What they do. Well, like, when it, when it comes to the Switch, like, hardware-wise, I like it. it oh, I like good. it, too. It feels good. It's, it's the most premium device that they've ever made. Yes. Uh, it's, it's without a doubt the most powerful handheld device ever yes. made. It's not as powerful as the Xbox and PlayStation 4, but at the same time, like, it's a fucking tablet. Like, you can't really expect it to be that powerful. But mm -hmm. what it is, it's pretty awesome. It's just, like, just small things. Like, I've talked about this before, like... <laughs> Oh shit! This fucking kickstand. The kickstand's garbage. Uh, the speakers, like the speakers, are whatever. They're not too bad. Uh, but just small things like that. You can't message your friends on your friends list. We're still using friend codes for some reason. Mm -hmm. I think they're changing that later, so you can add the Nintendo IDs, uh, which will be a lot better. Uh, it's small things like that. No YouTube. No Netflix. No no Amazon Prime or whatever the fuck it's called. Hulu Plus or whatever. All those streaming apps. There's there's no uh, there's no game streaming yet. Which will, like the YouTube policies were. Well, that's a whole other thing. Mm -hmm. you can't even do game recording yet. You take screenshots, but you're limited to where you can send them to. You don't even have an internet browser yet. So much stuff is missing. 
but the console, like I like the console. I like the design of the console. I like the the concept of the console. It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. I love the hybrid idea for them. It's very smart because uh, it guarantees we're going to get more games from their side. Now, with third party stuff, that remains to be seen. But like from Nintendo's side, you're going to get home console games and like handheld centric games all into one device. So that's cool. That's awesome. That that alone for me. That keeps me excited about the Switch, but like yeah. this other stuff, like they're so far behind when it comes to apps and streaming and all these other things. Like they need yeah. to catch up. That's just what it is. It's, Your competitors do it. Uh, they do it a lot better than you. It is yeah, so far better than Nintendo when it comes to stuff like that. That's that's why Sony has always been on top since they uh, stepped foot in this gaming industry because they always kept up with the latest technology, man. Just like with the DVD players, like Nintendo refused to do that with the GameCube because they were so afraid of uh, pirating for the GameCube so that's why they made their disc uh, uh, mini disc they didn't want yeah. they didn't want that Sega situation a lot of people uh, pirated Sega Dreamcast pirated games, the Dreamcast games too, yes that killed them it killed them and another thing will kill the Dreamcast it was it was uh, it was less powerful than the PS2 uh, it didn't have a DVD player and plus nobody you know not too many people talk about the fact that it was the only console in that <laughs> the generation was more powerful than the PS2 the PS2 was just a little bit more powerful. Like, it, I guess around that time, the Dreamcast was really powerful when it first came out. It, it, it wowed everybody. Yeah. But you got you got to remember, like, you know, the uh, Dreamcast was the first in that generation. But of course, everybody else could be better since they was first because they got to one up their competition. That's what Sony always do. They always one up the competition. But if you want to look at some of the mm -hmm. games, like like uh, Resident Evil Code Veronica on on the Dreamcast and the PS2, like it, it looks a slight better on the PS2. But as far as, as graphics, like Dreamcast, it held its own. It it wasn't it wasn't like a it wasn't like a uh, Switch versus an Xbox One versus a PS4. No, they was very they was very close. It was very close to each other. It was very close. It, it's just mm -hmm. uh, it's just unfortunately they came out at a at a bad time. Honestly, if 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 Sega would have held off at least another year or two before releasing the Dreamcast. They would have corrected some of those mistakes, and and not too many people talk about the fact that the Dreamcast controller did not have a second analog stick, in, in even though everybody else had a second analog stick with the DualShock controller, the the original Xbox One controller, uh, and the GameCube controller. They always had two analog sticks. Right. So even though the analog sticks around that generation, it was getting popular, but then again, uh, you had the options of playing a lot of games with D-pads. And I played a lot of games with D-pads because I was still trying to, I was still used to the D-pads because of the PS1, uh, the Sega, I always, I was used to D-pads. It took me, I think it took me to around 2000, I think 2005 or 2006 when I started using the deep, when I started using the analog stick a lot more, I just got used to the controls, the, the, the camera angles, everything got a lot better. It got a lot smoother. So that's when I started, you know, uh, uh, religiously using the analog stick a lot more than using the D-pad. And the D-pad, yeah. the D-pad, on it went ahead and went it's it, it don't it's not you it's not used like it used to be you know it's 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 becoming irrelevant but then again we still use it as far as like if we try to select weapons or whatever but as far as using it to move around those no, it's not the case no more unless you're playing like a lot mm -hmm. of retro games that's basically it but yeah like it's like, like I say, I'm, I know we're getting a little bit off topic, but the Dreamcast was something spe uh, special around the time but the fact that Sega rushed it and it was in financial trouble I think that Dreamcast could have wiped it could have wiped the floor out of everybody, the PS2, everybody, if they would have waited to launch that console. If they would have waited to launch that console and waited till the PS2, the GameCube, the Xbox uh, come out, I think they would have sold a lot more because they would have knew what to do in order to compete. It's just the fact they didn't have no DVD players and uh, the other stuff I just I just mentioned. It killed them. It killed them, and basically, the pirating that right there, they lost a lot of money. Because, you know, right. you make most of your money based on your first party IPs because that's where you make your money. Your exclusive. You don't really make as much money as far as multiplayer games. You know, you make money off your Sonic games, your Crazy Taxis and House of the Dead, you know, those games. You make your money off of that. But then again, <laughs> they didn't make much money because people was copying it. That was their downfall. Like, clearly, Another. clearly Nintendo yeah. noticed what happened with the Dreamcast, like how it was pirated essentially to death. Mm -hmm. So they've, they've always tried to protect that, which is not a bad thing, obviously, but it's just like, it's just one extra barrier with them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, basically. Basically, so, yeah, basically just talking about Sega, like, y'all know how passionate I am about Sega, but I'm the same way as with Nintendo now, and I will hate for Nintendo to, to go the path of Sega. Yes, we know Nintendo has a lot of money, 
But as far as the gaming console market, like they keep doing what they're doing, they will no longer exist. And you will see Nintendo do some little small project, maybe some mobile phone. So <laughs> they're gonna be doing some stuff that I don't want to want to be part of. Like I don't, I don't want Nintendo to just do something else besides gaming. I love Nintendo because of their games. I love the Legend of Zelda. We just got basically one of the, part of the greatest games to ever ever came out, the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Y'all telling me, people? Yeah. Like if y'all don't call out Nintendo's bullshit so they can make themselves better, then we won't see another Breath of the Wild type of game. We won't never see another masterpiece of a game if y'all don't say nothing now. Especially y'all content creators, y'all Nintendo content creators, if y'all don't say nothing and continuously keep making excuses, defending damage controlling Nintendo, knowing that they need to fix these issues, then... It's the Wii U situation all over again. I, I honestly, I just don't understand how someone could spend money on a product and just not voice their concerns with what they don't like about it. But instead, for free, they will make excuses for this company and just lie effectively or just hide the truth. Like, you don't want it to get better for some reason. I don't know why you would not want your experience to be better on a product that you bought. Mm -hmm. And you will actively try and stop people who are trying to make the experience better. That shit blows my mind that people are this obsessed with Nintendo. I, I guess with or, Super or Sony or Microsoft, doesn't matter which company, but just in general. Like, that is just a crazy concept. Super Metal Dave and Sh Shokyo, they... They, they like one of my, my favorite YouTube channels, even though they are hated by a lot of Nintendo fanboys. But they are not a Nintendo fanboy channel. I still don't understand why these people are even Super Metal Day. Even Super Metal Day told the audience, if you are a fanboy, if you want damage control from my channel, then this channel is not for you. He even warned them before he even started his video. And they yeah. still... One of the fun ways to hate it. It'd be all over Twitter. I can't stand here. It was want to find something negative to say about Nintendo. Is it true? It, it's true. Ain't it true? Ain't it true, Alex? It is true. Like, it's always true. It, he's, not, like, he's not making these lies up. It is true. If y'all hate it, then take that shit up with Nintendo. That's what I don't understand, people. I don't get it. I, I don't understand. Like, I won't plan on preaching about this, but it, it has to be done. It has to like, be done. We have a console that just came out. It came out with an amazing game, Breath of the Wild, obviously. Pot potentially, game of the generation. Uh, but it's just like, there's not much else there. It's very bare bones. You can't do anything with your friends list. I mean, like, either talk to them or, or do game invites. None of that shit. There's no voice chat or any of that left yet. There's so much stuff missing, but instead, people just want to be like... Mm -hmm. Shokyo! <laughs> Shokyo pointed out those problems. He even went on his channel and showed you, Here, guys, look, look, see, I'm not lying to y'all, guys. I'm not making this up. Look at what I'm showing y'all. We can't message our friends. And you want to get mad at me? Are you kidding right, me? Exactly. He is showing like he's them. He's just showing you that you can't do it. And oh my god. <laughs> That's why I don't know which fan base is worse. Xbox fanboys or Nintendo fanboys. It's it, it, it's 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 sad, man. It's pathetic. Like like uh, if y'all like I said, man, a lot of y'all been in my channel, y'all been on X channel for a while. Y'all know we don't play that fanboy shit or fuckboy shit. Like, come on, man. Because I or we will rant about whatever, whoever's fucking up, we will make sure we're going to bring that shit well, there, up. There's a, there's a perfect example. I know you're joking, Nick, but I'm going to take what you said as a perfect example. So I, I mentioned that you can't do party chat on the Switch. This is a typical response you'll hear from people. I know you're joking, Nick, so don't take this as I'm making this about you. But this is the kind of answer you'll get in, res in response. Well, just use your Xbox or use your PlayStation to use uh, party chat and play your games on your Switch. That doesn't solve anything. That that doesn't solve anything. That That's the kind of responses you get. Like, you, people got to remember a lot of casual People, gamers buy consoles to, to watch Netflix. Let's just be honest. Let's be real here. Let's be real here. Absolutely. Because when they go to Best Buy or whatever electronic store, they'd be like, I want this device so I can watch this, watch that. Be, people be like, okay, do you play video games? Yes, I play. Sometimes I play video games. Okay, this console is only $300, but it offers a Ultra 4 Blu-ray uh, Blu player. It offers Hulu. It offers Netflix. It offers a lot of this stuff. Y'all have to look at the big picture, people. A lot of the 
uh, employees from these electronic stores sell these consoles to people that don't, don't even game much. So I'm not just talking about your hardcore uh, 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 gamers. I'm talking about everybody. The casual gamers makes up majority of the console sales. Y'all don't understand. Y'all just don't understand. Exactly. Like ca casual people aren't going to be playing games all the time. Like like those on those commercials that Nintendo showed you where they these people go to rooftops and they have little rooftop parties and they play Mario Kart. Sure, maybe they'll do that for half an hour, and then they're gonna watch Netflix because that's what they do. So, like, even though I don't really watch Netflix, like, even though Shoki said he don't watch Netflix, he's talking about, he's talking about the masses. He's talking about majority of the people that's buying the Nintendo console. A lot of them might be casual gamers, but they want to know what does this system offer besides playing video games. If you want to just, just buy a, 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 a gaming console that only plays games, then I'm thinking about Sega Genesis or a Super Nintendo. Because that's the last time we had a system that only plays video games. That's the last time. I just don't understand. Like, that doesn't even make sense. Why would you want a device that could do more to do less? Like, I don't understand. Do you want your, your smartphone to only make calls and send text messages? Yeah. Or do you want it to take photos? Do you want it to do web browsing? Do you want it to be able to do Netflix and YouTube and all this other shit? And another thing. Uh, How shitty would these phones be if you could only do one thing? Pay seven, eight hundred dollars for a smartphone, and you only can make video only calls or video calls. That's it. That doesn't make sense, people. Doesn't make sense. Like even the PS One had a another um, another feature that the Nintendo sixty four didn't have. You could play your music CDs music, yeah. on the console, in which you cannot do with the Nintendo sixty four. Even with the original PS One. Sony, they knew to keep on top with the latest technology because CDs around that time was very popular. That's before MP3s was popular. Like CDs, everybody has CDs in their car. Everybody has CD players. Everybody. So that's the thing I'm talking about. Every generation, Sony always keeps up with the technology, with the CDs, with right. the DVDs, with the Blu-rays, and now with all of these features. That is the problem, people. That is the problem, Nintendo fanboys. When are we gonna wake up and see? When are we gonna wake up and and just see exactly what Nintendo is doing or what not doing? Like the stuff that they are not doing, it is in y'all best interest to come out and tell Nintendo, hey man, I'm a big fan, been a fan since the NES or Super NES. Like I don't want y'all to, to go the path of Sega, so I would love for y'all to do this, to fix this, fix this, because if you don't, then you, you will lose me as a consumer. And Nintendo has been losing a lot of console consumers. A lot of console consumers. Uh, consumers. Uh, but, hey, man. We don't know what we're talking about. Even though we've been gaming for over 20, 25 years. We don't know what the hell we're talking about. We don't. No, exactly. I, I, <laughs> I guess I guess I guess these little young kids that that grew up with, with the Wii generation they know it. They know Nintendo more than us. Yeah, I, mean, I fucking they, hate these kids. I, no offense I, to anybody in the chat here who's like this, who grew up like this, but I fucking cannot stand people who started with Nintendo and their first console was the Wii. Because they used the to worst. It. They're the absolute worst. They used to it because Nintendo put they're that. Used to yes. media. That's what they're using. Mediocrity, yes. That has been my issue, man. Like, look, they're I, used to things like, oh, Xbox and PlayStation have HD consoles. We have a standard dev console. <laughs> they're used to things like, oh, the, the Wii U is as powerful as the 360 and the Xbox One, but uh, but it doesn't do any half of the features of those consoles. Then the Xbox One and the PS4 come out, oh, we're way behind again. This is just how it is. Even with DVD players. They're like fucking Eeyore from Winnie and the Pooh. <laughs> Like two generations in a row, Nintendo. Ref I don't know why they re no three generations. They refuse to put a DVD player in their console. They refuse to do that. I just they don't understand. Ever they, they won't do ever do it. Why? That's that's why. Way now, like, because you can do streaming. Yeah. Okay. That, that's different. Like, that's different. But I'm talking I'm about I'm talking about a popular feature. Uh, with the uh, when it was popular with the PS2 and PS3, like with the Blu-ray, Blu-ray was really popular. Yeah, yeah. Like they they missed two generations in a row uh, with putting DVDs in their their cons because I was pissed off. I you know I used to rent, I used to go to Blockbuster before they you know before they closed. I used to go to Blockbuster a lot and rent a lot of movies, and I'd be having my three, I'd be playing my my 360 and my Wii, and 
You know, sometimes I keep on forgetting that they did not implement that feature. And the Wii, so I had to take it out the Wii and put in 360. That fucking bothered me, man. Are you serious? Like, why Nintendo cannot do a simple feature like that? Why? <laughs> why? That bothered me. And people will find a way to defend it. Look, I'm not trying to shit on Nintendo. We're not trying to shit on Nintendo. Like, we're really getting on the fan base. The... Nintendo fanboys or um, uh, fuckboys, however you want to call them, like these apologists or the Nintendo <laughs> White Knights, the Wii U weirdos, whatever you want to call them. But y'all have to do better, man. Like, it, with the Switch, like, it's, it doesn't make sense on how we can't message our friends, and it still pisses me off to this day. Still pisses me off so that we don't have a, a internet browser, so internet browser, YouTube, Hulu, Netflix, in which we had day one on the fucking Wii U that came out in 2013, no, 2012. No, no, no. It was 2012, 2012. Like, it doesn't make sense, people. Like, y'all need to know content creators. I know we've been going, um, we've been going with this subject a while, but I'm just, I'm just getting tired of it. I'm, I'm tired of trying to accept mediocrity with Nintendo. Like, it's time for them to get better. It's time for them to get better as far as you know a consumer relation. They need to, they need to basically open up to their consumers more often. Not not just fucking surveys. Frederick Fist, man, get your right. fat ass on Twitter and tweet us. Get at least Phil Spencer can do it. Get your fat ass on Twitter and, and message <laughs> the Nintendo. I'll be right back. All right, they need to message the Nintendo fan base. Be like, what should we do in order to make our brand, our product better? He doesn't do it. What Nintendo rep or executive be on Twitter answering a lot of questions in which I do respect Phil Spencer of? Uh, I respect Phil Spencer because he actually interact with his fan base. When Nintendo gonna do that? Like that's that it also bothers me. Like it's been surveys. Nintendo do do some surveys, but they 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 hardly even answer the our main concerns. They hardly do. That what bothers me. But oh yeah, those uh, surveys. Yeah. <laughs> It, it does bother me. Look, man, I love Nintendo today. You love Nintendo. We a lot of us love Nintendo. That's in the chat, mm -hmm. but we ain't gonna never progress as as the, uh, a fan base or Nintendo community if we're going to always, you know, I guess be one sided. One, one one side of the Nintendo community is one side, and us we on the other side, and we thinking about the future, the long term for Nintendo. In order for them to have a a long term success, they need to basically be caught up on modern day features they need to they know what they need to do but a lot of these fan these fanboys they just so caught up in to nintendo uh, they so caught up in mario and zelda and they not realizing what their console is lacking and the switch is lacking a lot and it, it yeah, I'm, does... just gonna, I'm just gonna show these people in real time what you can do on the switch here so as you can see here uh this is switch obviously so this is the home page so you can uh, you can go to the news section here, so you can learn about games that you'll see later on, which is whatever. There's a <laughs> there's an eShop. There's the photo album. This is where you sync your controllers. And here's the settings, and then here's to turn off your switch. And then if you go to the top here, here's your profile page. So. You can see here, it shows you how many hours you put into games or whatever. Uh, here's a friends list. So, where's Real Gamer? Here's Real Gamer, okay? Uh, I want to... And Real Gamer is starred. That's me, that means he's one of my top friends on the Switch, right? So, if I click here, and I want to say, Oh, can't do it. Can't do nothing. This, this is literally all you can do. I can see what Real Gamer's been playing. And I can go to options. And I can delete him. That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Either hey, delete or block. That is it. That's the only that communication we Delete or block. <laughs> that is all you can do. All I can do is get mad. He's That's... like, I can't text you back. <laughs> oh, my God. That is... <laughs> Exactly. If I block your ass, you won't even. You can't even send me a salty message after. I'm at the. I'm at the sit on Twitter. God damn it, fucking Alex <laughs> on Twitter. <laughs> it is oh, absolutely crazy. freaking Twitter. At least we could. At least we can share some pictures on Twitter. <laughs> at least we could do that. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, but like like I said, man, <sighs> the Switch is a good console. We love the Switch. Like like Nintendo, they gotta keep up with the times, man. You know, I don't. I, I like how fast the OS is. Mm -hmm. Very wow, fast. That's really nice. But like, goddamn, that thing is lacking. I, I still, <laughs> I, I, I still think the Switch is something special this generation. Don't get me wrong. Like the deal with that is like we got to get that we mentality out of y'all systems, Nintendo fanboys. Let's act like the Wii didn't exist because honestly, even though the Wii was their biggest big success, at the same time I think it was their biggest failure because like with the Wii when after that came out when it went it came it got it gone. I felt that a lot of Nintendo fan base they left they did not come back because they couldn't trust Nintendo <clears> anymore. <throat> they couldn't yeah. trust them. It was like, okay, what happened to my real well, they console? Had a, a mass exodus of fans during the Wii U generation. Oh, they obviously yeah. 100 plus billion down to like 13. That's a lot of people he lost. And that, you know, like if that doesn't tell you nothing on what Nintendo did, then I don't know what will tell you. Like, what is the why did what bought what about 70 75 percent of the Wii fan base left? Why did they do that? Why? Like, come on, man! Doesn't it does, let's take a rocket scientist to figure this out? Like, come on! That's that was it's so discouraging, man. But like I say, people, like we're not shitty on Nintendo. I'm just get I'm getting on the fan base. Like, I just want to make sure that this thing doesn't end up like the Wii U. Like, I see some guys, like some Nintendo YouTubers, giving the old wait and see thing. We waited and we saw the Wii U for four years or whatever the fuck it was five years four years do nothing nothing got better it just got worse and worse and worse but everyone's still like and i keep waiting wait and see uh, nintendo's got something around the corner it's like no guys like when they're missing something you gotta tell them like how else do they know and we got painted as a nintendo hater how the hell can we hate we hate how can we hate the company that we love and we want them to do better how's that hating apparently y'all hate nintendo the ones exactly. that the, that's how i feel honestly that's how i feel like if you just you see them suffering you see them doing a poor job and you just don't say anything you continue to let them do a poor job and lose fans and lose sales and all this shit you don't like them you, you don't, don't want you, them you, to improve you don't like, like them. must hate them that's why Super Metal Day has been getting on to Nintendo, and he's been getting on to their fan base as well. He, ain't, he even had to take a break from Nintendo because they they, they freaking turned this ass new uh, asshole. Like, <laughs> it, it's just sad, man. Like, I told Super Metal Day, man, I was like, hey, man, I'm I'm here to support you, man. Like, that little video he did be like, you know, y'all make a responsive video to me. And I, I made a responsive video to him. Like, like y'all yeah. know me. If you've been watching my channel for a while, y'all know me. <laughs> y'all know how I roll, man. <laughs> I will get on the Nintendo fan base a lot. Matter of fact, let me see if I can find that picture. It, it pisses off. Every time I put that thumbnail on my videos, it just pisses off a lot of people. Let me see if I can find that, man. Uh, let me see. Uh, Where's that? Where's that? Where's that? Where's that? Thumbnail, thumbnail. So what else we need to talk about? Mm, we're talking about that three percent thing, right? Oh yeah, the three percent and Nintendo doubling the production. That's good news, guys. That's good news. I'm we not just being negative Nancy about Nintendo. No, it's not about Nintendo. It's about the fan base. In order for Nintendo to come uh, to progress, the fan base had to progress as well. They have to. Uh, let me see. I'm looking for that thumbnail. Every time I put that thumbnail, you be you be cracking up, dude, about the Nintendo <laughs> fan base. Let me see if I can find it. Oh yeah. I hope man, hopefully I still have it, man. Hopefully I still have it. Uh let me see, let me see. Uh where's that? Where's that? Come on, come on, come on. Come on, stupid computer, you're acting all slow. Uh come on. Oh, if, if you want, you can you can talk about the other subject. Alex, I'm, I'm looking for this. The uh, three percent thing. Yeah, you you can start it. <clears throat> sure. Okay, let me screen share this so they can see here. Okay. Okay. So, uh, GDC, they had a um, what do you call it? They had a uh, a survey. From a bunch of developers, 4,500 developers, and uh, apparently only 3% of them are actually making games for the Switch. 
Uh, it says here the numbers are in for GDC 2017 and the Nintendo Switch makes its presence felt, but not as strongly as many may have hoped for. They post only 3% of the 4,500 GDC 2017 devs will be making games for the Nintendo Switch. Uh, da, 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 da. So as PC and Mac is 53%, Smart Moons 38, PS4 27, blah 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 blah. Uh, it's I don't know why they don't tell you in this article that this survey was actually taken before the switch had actually released it was either in February or it was December 2016 you see so that was before the console was actually out <laughs> yeah are you seeing so I, I don't know why this article doesn't actually tell you that though yeah it doesn't make sense uh, here's that picture that I was telling you about you you see it Alex Oh, yeah, the praising one. Yeah, that's exactly how I feel with the fan. Every time I look at that picture, it's so funny, man. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that is a funny picture. But people, come on, people. Like, like yes, it's a funny picture, but this is how exactly. Oh, I think I owe oh, somebody dislike. Another dislike. I think I pissed off some Nintendo fanboys. But yeah, uh -oh. th this is exactly how I feel about the fan base. I know I'm getting off topic again, but. Like I say, man, I love Nintendo to death, man. I, I don't want them to lead this console market. But just yeah. just look at the picture closely. Look at the 3DS and the, and the Wii U and look at the, the Nintendo. And, of course, you got the King. And you got the Nintendo fanboys right there praising them, even though the Wii U was a massive failure. But the one that's praised them is not letting the kings of Nintendo or whatever the company, letting them know on the what why your console failed. But they continuously still want to praise them and, and give them compliments, whatever, and refuse to give them constructive criticism in which it really bothers me. That what I'm talking about, people. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> people laughing at the picture. <laughs> but yeah, man, like in order for us to progress as a Nintendo community, people, we need to give constructive criticism, man. Not continuously shitting on Shokyo. Not continuously shedding on super metal day man like if you have a switch i'm pretty sure some of y'all in the chat has a switch i know nintendo ultra he's in the chat right now what's up ultra i know he has a switch even he gives constructive criticism uh, uh, out to nintendo and his fan right. his fan base don't say you know he actually have a respectable fan base because they like him as a person like you know he probably, he probably won't say it as harshly as shokyo and super metal day but he let it know you know, he has a, a, a nice follow. He just passed 10,000 subscribers. Uh, matter of fact, congratulations, Nintendo Ultra, for passing 10,000. You're a cool dude, man. Shout out. Subscribe to him, man. If y'all not subscribed to a Nintendo Ultra, subscribe to him. He's in the chat right now. But, yeah, man, like, like, like I said, man, like, this right here, that's how I picture the Nintendo community. Even I picture some of the content creators in this community. They won't let Nintendo, they won't criticize they won't let them know what y'all need to do to progress as a company man i know i'm getting off topic i know we're gonna be talking about the other subject but this is so important guys the switch is to a good start uh they doubling the production but in order for us to get past this wii u situation in order for us to get past that wii situation we need to let go and stop being so emotionally attached to the system yes we love their games but we can't be so emotionally attached to the system and we're going to turn a blind eye on some of the stuff that they're lacking we that's y'all understand right. y'all understand what I'm, I'm I'm going with this people in the chat y'all understand what I'm saying like I'm not trying to make this a joke it's it's serious I'm being serious people but that's all that's basically all I want to talk about with this subject I just want to let y'all uh, guys know how I feel about <clears throat> this man so we can talk about the G GDC I'm sorry for cutting y'all Alex yeah so this survey was taken before uh, the switch was out apparently it was even before the switch presentation so. It's it's hard to say how many devs are actually working on it now, but if you're to just to take this survey, three percent obviously isn't great. But uh, but again, like it was before the console was up, before it was like that second announcement trailer. So, eh, I don't know. I don't think it's too much to get concerned about at the moment. Like this time next year, if it's still like that, then it's time to get uh, really worried. But yeah. uh, the devs that have been working on this Switch say it's super easy to work for. Yeah. And we just had somebody leaked that Dark Souls 3 is running on the Switch. Yeah. 
I, I need to pull up that article. But Mi um, so there is stuff coming. There's stuff in the works, like Nintendo. So there's 80 games in or 100 no, something 100. games in development. Yeah. Yeah, 100 something. So. And I think they say 50, yeah. 50 developers or 70 developers. It's, it's one of those numbers. That's a <laughs> that's a good chunk. Of, that's right. a good number. It's a good number. But how did 50 or 70 developers turn to 3%? That's a lot of developers. Then that's only three percent. Yeah, but you know that like they didn't tell you like what kind of developers that they uh, surveyed. Was it indie developers? Was they AAA? Like was was it all of them? Like it's just it's just something about about that article. I feel that they was uh, leaving out. It's a bunch of smoke screen with that article, man. So that's why I can't take that article too seriously because you got to remember like like a lot of those guys probably ain't got no dev kits because we know how Nintendo is so selective. When it comes to their dev kits, that's another thing that pisses me off about Nintendo. They need to fall in line. Like whatever Microsoft and Sony is doing with these developers on why why developers keep you know giving them games, you know, multiplayer over these past ten to fifteen years or however long it take. Like they need to fall in line if they want that same treatment. Nintendo always doing their right. own. They always go their own route, and that's why they get treated this way. That's why their fan base get treated that way. That goes back to why I was talking <laughs> Yeah, it's true. It's true. Like, they, they do, they go a different route than Sony and Microsoft. And in a lot of ways, that's a good thing. Because, like, if they copied what Sony and Microsoft did, we wouldn't have the Switch. We wouldn't have a hybrid device. And I like the hybrid device. So I'm I'm happy they decided to do something else. Yeah. But at the same time, like, they need to go out of their way and make sure these companies are going to make games for them. Mm hmm. That, yeah. That's just what it is. Like, you can't let them charge more for your games. Like the you, just because you're using cartridge when you decided to use cartridge, you can't make your consumers pay more for that when your competition's games will be cheaper. That's not fair. So mm -hmm. they need to find out a way to fix that. But the main thing is they need to make sure they get these developers making games for the Switch consistently, not just indie games. Not just indie games. Because a lot of what we're seeing are like small indie titles. We need big games too. We need more stuff like the Legend of Zelda, but not from Nintendo, like other companies too. Mm -hmm. to the Switch. Mm -hmm. We need shooters. We need racers. We need survival horrors. We need the same treatment on which they give to Sony and Microsoft. Like yeah. stop, stop with this. Nintendo don't need third party support. Look, okay, look at the Wii U. Every time y'all say that, I'm gonna be like, the Wii U says hi, people. The Wii U says hi. Like, every time y'all bring that up, like. Do I, like, I don't even got to. I don't even got to argue with you. I'm gonna just get a Wii U and show it to you. That's your answer. Exactly. Like, yeah, come your on. Answer. That's your answer. Who, like, well, I don't understand how you could have just been through the Wii U generation and still say shit like, uh, they don't need third parties at all. They can do it on their own. They tried. They, like, <laughs> they just tried. That they couldn't. Like, if, you're gonna get more games this time because they're. They've merged their divisions and you can get the handheld and home console together on one device. But that depends on the 3DS dying. Mm -hmm. Like that needs to happen like now. I honestly the sooner I, the 3DS dies, the better for the Switch. Yes. But at the same time, you still have to have third parties making games for your console. I'm gonna be honest, I think the three DS will be dead by the end of this year because I see more Switch commercials. I would hope so. I see more Switch this commercials. This should be the last year for the 3DS. I don't, I don't really I don't really see 3ds commercials no more. It's all about the switch. They own a lot of television stations oh, like the, the 3ds has been out for five years. They're not yes. gonna just put up commercials for it anymore. There's no point. Yeah, I think it's like a I think some dad they put that Yoshi's Willy World game on three or something like that. Like I know they got like another. Um, yeah, they have something else coming to the switch. They're but just doing I, like, I switch, smaller, yeah. like ports yeah. to the 3ds yes, now. That's, that's basically what it is. But you know, I don't after this year I don't I don't see that, it. That's how you know it's kind of on its way out. And we expect the Pokemon game every year, and we still hadn't they didn't announce no Pokemon. They still haven't announced it yet for the Switch. When uh, that would probably be at E3. It's it's gonna it's gonna be at E3. When they do, that's when you know for sure the 3ds is done yep the but I'm, I'm amazed that the that the 3ds is getting another fire emblem game this year and the the fact that that's not on the switch really irritates me yeah yeah basically but i, I still have hope for the system it's selling like crazy oh, yeah. uh the, selling the very well the demand for it is very extreme GameStop and it's, it's very it's very high demand they said it hadn't yeah, been this like, much N people. nintendo themselves said the first two three days of the console it's the fastest they've ever had faster than even the week 
faster than we. They could they could potentially outsell the Wii because they doing something a revolutionary with the taking your console on the go. You take it home, you put it on the dock, you get the home experience. Like we look at this oh, like it's fantastic. It's, I'll give you a perfect real world example. Actually happened today. Mm -hmm. Went out for brunch today, and while we're waiting for food, takes what like 10, 15 minutes. We're just sitting there playing snipper clips, waiting for the food to be made. Yep. That is awesome. I was, you can't I, do that. I took I took my kids to the park a few hours ago, and I was playing Metal Slug Three at the park. You can't do that Xbox or PlayStation. Uh, I was sacrificing. That's, that's just so cool. I was sacrificing some my my specs on both consoles to take it on the go. I would do that because that exactly. is a cool yeah. idea. But just look at the fact that the Switch is more powerful than the Wii U. It's between Wii U and the Xbox One. It's between Wii U and Xbox That's One. That's yeah. a lot of power for a very small console. It is very small. Like, mm. that is... That's amazing. People are so worried about specs that specs that... If, if, the, if this handheld would have the same specs as a PS4, then I expected maybe a $500 price tag for this console. Probably five hundred. That's because the PS4 is almost. Uh, I think. Hold on. How many? Uh, what's the PS4 teraflops? Like one point eight. One point eight, and Xbox is one point three. And the Switch is about one. I think about one. It's around. Yeah, I think it's one. Exactly one. Yeah. So yeah, it's so back to the PS4 is damn near doubled the the power of the Nintendo Switch, but the PS4 right. is a lot bigger. Than the Nintendo Switch. That what amazes me. It can actually keep up with the competition. Like the fact with they can actually put the real Unreal Engine Four version on the Switch. That a that it amazes me, man. On what they did. That's a that's a great yeah. For, a great for what the Switch is, yes. the amount of power it has is excellent. Like they're obviously not going for a graphics powerhouse, otherwise they wouldn't have made a hybrid device. Like that, that should be clear to you. When you see the Switch, how small it is, how in your mind do you think a, the device the size of the Switch is going to be as powerful as your PS4? Like, why would you even think that's happening? <clears throat> I don't and know, man. Especially not for the price point they're selling it at. Yeah. <laughs> like I have. I just don't understand some people. I had so much fun playing a lot of my. Whenever they do announce virtual console games on the Switch, I will have more fun playing it on the handheld than actually playing it on the TV mode. I'm just being honest. Like playing Metal Slug, playing it on the go, that I have a blast with it. Like it's they like these virtual console games. It's it's more of a pick up and play type of game, not not yeah. a home yeah. console experience. That's why I say Indies is going to. Uh, it's gonna be the indies light. will thrive on. It's it's gonna thrive on the indies Switch. Are pick up and play. Yeah. yeah, that's the same way with 3DS titles. That's why uh, matter of fact, Retro Bro, he even brought that up. Like that's why 3DS titles, you know, it doesn't it, like the time length of these games is not that much. Maybe three to four hours because it's a pick up mm -hmm. and play. That's how I it's feel about a lot of these, these exactly. indies. And you know, that's that's why I, I think that this console will be a success because it's gonna have a lot of indie support. And you know, with the success of this console or slash hybrid. Which is going to sell a lot is going to drive in a lot of third party support. It's also going to drive in some multiplayer. Like, they will be an idiot yeah. not like to put. Once, uh, once the install base grows, you'll get the multiplayer. Like, oh, yeah, it's, it's going to come. powerful enough to play the multiplayer. It's obviously going to look worse, yeah. but you'll still get them as long as they build that install base up. It's going to look worse, but then again, you have two versions of it. You have two versions the home console and the handheld. Like, Shit, I'm pretty sure a lot of people love to play a Mass Effect of Drama on the go as well. Like, that is awesome. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. You know, Red Dead Redemption on the go. Grand Theft Auto on the go. Grand Theft Auto on the go? Like, oh, oh. Grand Theft Auto on the on go, the would go. Be incredible. That, that would be amazing. That's wishful thinking right there. Grand Theft Auto on the go? Oh, my God. Well, they hardware-wise, it's not wishful thinking because that shit ran on a 360. But, like, those companies just don't like each other. Yeah, yeah. But like we'll we'll see business is business. If the Switch can get it done, they should. <laughs> like Nintendo should go to them and be like, "Hey, we want Grand Theft Auto 5." It's Make not it a, it's not about the specs of the console. And Blizzard and they should be getting Overwatch. Like look at the fact the PS3 and the Xbox 360 still had Black Ops 3 when it came out last year. They still gave it to the PS3 and 360. Black Ops 3. 
Yeah. And Tomb Raider, uh, Ra- Rise of Tomb Raider, it was on the Xbox 360. No, like, these developers, they could put these games on any console they want. If they're not going to make the money, then what's the point? You got to make money first. If there's no money, then they're not going to do it. Mm. Just, it, it. It is what it is, man. You know, uh, but as far as the 3%, you know, developers making games for the Switch, I'm, I I don't believe that at all because, you know, like I say, I mean, there's a lot of smoke well, screen. I'm, I'm sure it was true at the time, but at again, the time. Like it happened before the console was even out, so I'm sure it's different now. Yeah, a lot of these developers didn't have no dev kits uh, at that time in which Nintendo was very selective about, and that does piss me off about them. But that that's uh, that's oh yeah they were being they were being a bunch of assholes about the developer kits. Yeah, that's why I don't give no I don't give Nintendo no pass about that because you know uh, right now you know just thinking about the Wii U situation they should be kissing their asses. I'm just being honest. They should be kissing their mm-hmm. asses. You know. <laughs> but did we talk about yeah, the? Uh, it's true though. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's talk about the doubling of production. Let's let's talk about some positive. Did, um, of course, uh, Nintendo, they see the basically the huge demand for the Switch. It's selling out crazy. It's selling out crazy in Japan that the second week of the Switch, like, it is, it's so worse. It's so worse uh, the second week, if you want to compare the Wii U sales on the second week. It's not the fact that people don't want no Switch. It's the fact that Nintendo is, they can't keep up with the demand. That's the issue. People reporting, we're reporting that, like, people don't want the Switch anymore. It's because there's none in the fucking stores to buy. <laughs> Even Nintendo said they're going to ship two million oh to first. Oh, my God. They're I gonna... can't believe how fucking dense some of these people are. They said Nintendo was going to ship two million in March. And over, what what they say, 1.5 million consoles were sold in the first, how many days? A couple days or something like that? Like one, in the first one, three days, they one sold 1.5 million And how many, how many Switch Nintendo said they're going to ship in March? Two million. Two million. It's not, yeah. it's not even April yet. Like, they see the huge demand for the Switch. People all over this country, all over the world, is searching for the Switch. You go on Amazon, you go on Craigslist. People are selling yeah. them for 500 they, they to 1,000. Um, they doubled their fiscal year from 8 million. Now it's to 16 million. Now they expect to sell 16 million within this fiscal year for them. For up from eight, so like, damn, they <laughs> it must be crazy successful for them to double their expectations now. Yeah, because everybody wants it. Like I was telling you while ago before the stream, like my brother, he's a casual gamer. He loves like mobile game. He loves RPG stuff. He could continuously and play. He loves like Kingdom yeah. Hearts type of games. Like he keeps saying that man. I keep seeing that Switch on TV. I keep seeing that Legend of Zelda. I'm not really a Zelda guy, but that game, that world looks so good. I want to play it. And it's just coming yeah. from a guy that hadn't had a console since the PS2. Like, Nintendo is capturing people like my brother. He's a casual gamer. That's that's why I think Nintendo, the, the Switch is going to be a success. Because they are recapturing a lot of these older gamers. He's, he's my older brother as well. So, like, I guess gaming is just not, it's just he just hadn't been carrying my games for a while. But that Switch is really changing his mind being a gamer again. He is really interested in buying a Switch. And it's just not him. It's, it's a lot of them like that out there. They see it's all, it's all over TV. I don't watch TV like that, but if you want to know exactly what stations Nintendo Switch has been uh, advertised on, go to iSpot.tv. It was just just search Nintendo Switch. They will tell you uh, the airtime of these commercials. It got like a lot of these these different Nintendo Switch commercials. It'll tell you. I went on today. A lot of these Nintendo Switch commercials was aired today. All of them. I think it was like six or seven of uh, different Nintendo Switch commercials. Yeah, their, their marketing They're still. is it's night and day compared to the Wii U's marketing. That's another reason why I think the Switch is going to be a success because they are they constantly advertising this, this product in which it's leaving a lot of people mouth watering because they can't get their hands on it right now. That's exactly. why they doubling the product, the, uh, the production. Just think for the 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 holiday sales, Alex. The holidays when they gonna when they have a commercial drop Mario Odyssey, a commercial. That's gonna be nuts. Look, look for the the holidays for the Switch, Mario Odyssey. Uh, Legends of the Splatoon 2, uh, Mario Kart, and a new Sonic game, Sonic Mania for your Switch. That's and Xenoblade 2? Come on. That's a lot of stuff. That's a, yeah, that's that's a like lot of good shit. I'm trying to tell you, man. I, I see I see something good here, man. You know, like... Yeah, and, like, the momentum's not even stopping because, like, next month, Mario Kart 8's dropping Deluxe, mm-hmm. which is the best-selling game on the Wii U. That 
is going to bring a lot of people over to the Switch. Basically. And then you got ARMS and Splatoon 2 right around the corner as well. So, like, they have more consistent first-party titles in their first year than the Wii U ever fucking got. Oh, hell yeah. And some people keep on turning a blind eye about that. They so worried about uh, multi-plats, but then again, like, these developers, they trying to, they trying to make sure that this Switch is going to be a, uh, a success before they start uh, putting their games on the Switch. And what, exactly. Nintendo, and what Nintendo did, they put in all one, they put in their best franchises out this year. And that alone is going to sell a lot of Switches. It's kind of like with Mario Kart Wii. That's a lot of Wii's. Yeah. Uh, Nits, yeah, you get, uh, uh, you're getting Zelda, Mario Kart, yeah. Xenoblade, Splatoon, yeah. Arms, and a fucking 3D Mario game all in the first year. Yeah, it wasn't just uh, Nits, That's crazy. Uh, it wasn't just and Xenoblade and Fire Emblem Warriors. Like y'all people, y'all gotta remember, it wasn't just uh, Wii Sports that helped. So that was the only thing that helped sold the Wii. Mario Kart Wii sold over 33 million copies. New Super Mario right. Brothers Wii sold over 30 million copies. Twilight Princess sold what, about eight million on the on the Wii, whatever. It sold really well. Uh, Smash Bros. sold about twelve million. That's a lot of Nintendo only software that sold on the Wii. That's a lot, but it is what it is, man. Like y'all keep thinking that that you know, uh, even though if third parties didn't su help support the Wii, I still think it, the Wii was sold a lot of systems just because of the motion controls, the motion controls, and Wii Sports and those other Nintendo games they had. I still think it was sold a lot. But what did, what do third parties do? They fell in line. They saw the success of the Wii. They saw what Nintendo did with the system. They yeah, saw man, all this. Too much money to be made not to make too, games for it. Too much money to be made. And they saw it, and it's the same way what's going on right now. They see and money. It's even it's even better this time because like the Switch is actually easy to develop for, whereas like with the Wii, the games weren't even in HD. <laughs> so, yeah, like it's easier to port these games over to the, to the Switch mm -hmm. as long as. As long as they get that install base, it'll be worth it for them. I don't know. We made a prediction on our Real Talk with the Real Gamer podcast a few months ago about how many Switches going to get sold the first year. I don't know if you remember your prediction, but I did say between eight and nine million. I think it was I said between eight and nine million, and I forgot somebody made a bold prediction over ten million. I forgot who it was, and somebody said two million. Who was that? Me. <laughs> Did you say too many, Alex? You're crazy, man. No, that was uh, that was retro. Retro, bro. <laughs> this are two million. They practically sold out their two million right now. God dang. But you know, I was playing it safe. But it's just like when me and you saw the the first reveal of the Switch, Alex. We saw something special going on. Like yeah. first thing that came to our mind is that yes fuck yes we're no longer going to take a back seat to the 3ds <laughs> that's that's the first thing was on our mind oh they was not yes <laughs> last time that was the first thing. i was like yes we get to have our 3ds games on hd console i was like yes finally, finally that they won't treat us there's like our so own. many good yes so many good games that only go to 3ds that get the wii u I was that, like, that's not happening anymore yes once that fucking 3ds dies when they finally announce that 3ds is dead i will celebrate and i will rejoice in the streets because it means the Switch Gang runs all of Nintendo. No, no, no. First of all, we gonna have an emergency podcast. About <laughs> we're gonna celebrate. Oh, we'll definitely we're, have an emergency podcast. We're gonna, we're gonna celebrate the death of the 3DS. <laughs> Absolutely. Man, people get so mad when when I say shit in Nintendo groups like I can't wait for the 3DS to die so we can get more games for the Switch. They get so mad. Like, calm the fuck down. Your 3DS had five years. That's more than enough. Oh yeah. Actually, no. I think it's been six years. Oh, huh? I think it came out 2012. No, 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 uh, 20, 2011, I think, no, I think 2011, oh, wait, wait, wait. no, no, uh, the Vita came out 2012, no, 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 let me think, let me think, the Wii U came out 2013, the, the Vita yeah. came out a year before the Wii, 2012, no, the Wii U came out in 2012, yeah, the, at the end of 2012, okay, Wii U came out at the end of 2012, the Vita came out 2011, I think, let me, let me, let me check, I think the 3DS okay, came so out, 3DS came out, 3DS came out in 2011. 2011, okay. About 2011. Yeah, February 26, 2011. So six That's years. That's six years. Six years. Yeah. So it's about time to... Yeah, we're over, we're over six years now because it's March. So that shit's been out for six years. Let it fucking die. It had a good life, people. Over 60 million in today's uh, mobile gaming. That is, that's pretty damn good. Today's that mobile gaming... Impressive. 
If you could yeah. sell 60 million handheld games in which people have handheld systems on their phones and, and tablets, that tells you something. There is still a strong fan base for Nintendo handhelds, and, and the 3DS sales show it, sh- it showed it. So what Nintendo is doing in order to recapture that market, not only for their consoles and handheld, they merged those, uh, merged both of them together and made it a Switch console in which it's driving a high demand for. A lot of people want it. I want it. Casual people want it. My brother don't play video games wants it. Like, it is so insane right now that Nintendo is doubling up the production in which it's a good thing. It's good for gamers. Mm-hmm. It's, good. it's good for the gaming industry. But as far as y'all Nintendo haters, just keep hating, keep pouring that salt. Mr. Zen Gamer, I'm calling you out, Zen Gamer. You need to stop being salty <laughs> about Nintendo. Come back to YouTube, man. You Like, what's Bro, up? He's fucking, he's like dead inside. Uh, I don't know what the <laughs> fuck his problem is. Uh, like, he's, he's been completely <laughs> broken. Yeah, I think Nintendo broke his heart. <laughs> he's <laughs> broke, they, Nintendo broke him, man. He's completely dead inside now. <laughs> oh, Zen Gamer, man. He's 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 funny. <laughs> Maybe I'll get it back. Maybe I get it back on the podcast. But that dude, he is. Oh my god, I don't know what to say about him. But the um, salt cast. The salt cast. <laughs> 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 but I guess we didn't. Went, we didn't went on for for a minute. We gonna get to the questions. You got anything else to say? Uh, we talk about everything already. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Are we talk about the GDC and uh, the fanboys, the Nintendo fanboys, the Xbox fanboys, and we talk about this. So we talk about four things. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, uh, let's get to the questions. Anything going, on, anything going on in PlayStation or what? Anything going on? There's nothing in Xbox. The only thing's going on in PlayStation is, is games to play. We got new games to play, and you know, uh, as far as gaming news, I don't really see anything. I the last PlayStation gaming news I knew was about the rumor PS5, in which we did talk about the, at the podcast. Oh yeah, well, that was. I'm pretty sure that's fake. Yeah, that has to be <laughs> fake. That has to be fake. Like they just came out with the PS4 Pro. I don't expect a new Sony console at least another two years at least another 20 yeah, 2019 or 2020 if there's another plate Dude, if, if you bought if pro can you imagine how fucking furious you would be oh my if, god like this year at e3 sony announces that they're making a ps5 coming out soon oh my god i will be so even it, the most diehard sony fan would lose their shit over that yeah, even like like Stone Fox Media, he even said it was a bad idea. Like if you could, if Pony Fox Media can say that Sony fucked up, then something something happened. They must have pissed him yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But he, that was fake, anyways. Yeah, you know, not even Sony is stupid or arrogant enough to do that. Only Sega is. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I had to. I had to. They did it for real. Yeah, they did. <laughs> I, I can admit to to, to Sega's stupidity. Like I'm, I'm still furious about their decisions because it was, it was my heart, man. Like I, I play strictly on Genesis. Like a couple of years into my gaming life before I, I touched a Nintendo console. And Sega did what they did, and you know it is what it is. It sucks. I was a, I was just a young child at the age of four playing Sonic the Hedgehog, what, the, the first Sonic the Hedgehog in 1991. But like, there's there's some exciting stuff to be for uh, for Sega right now. For those the both those Sonic games look good. Oh yeah. Mania looks excellent, even though it got delayed. But but whatever, it's still coming out this year. And uh, Project Sonic, what's it called? Sonic Focus now or Forces? Forces. Yeah. Forces. So- yeah, that looks good. Like I oh. can't wait to see more of that. And, and the the pacing of that game looks pretty awesome. Like I didn't mm-hmm. pl- I didn't play Sonic Boom, but looking at the fact that why the hell is his teammates running faster than him? What the what the fuck? What the what the, what the hell? And why is Sonic using no, all the yeah, the rest of them should be like way the hell back, like clutching their chest trying to keep up. With Sonic. Why why they has Sonic been using weapons to to fight like? That's what his spin dash is for. Like, go back to the old, go back to the what old school Sonic. Like, Sonic Boom was garbage. And it, it deserved those sales, and you know, I'm so glad. I was really hoping and praying it was not the Sonic team that did that game. I was so happy that it was not them. It was the big red button, oh, yeah. man. Oh my god, it, it's it's it was ridiculous. But yeah, man, like I, I was glad that they actually took their time with this Sonic Forces game. Like, don't just like okay, I think the main reason why they they had so many um, uh, low quality Sonic games during that generation because y'all got to remember the Wii, 360, and, and three and the PS3 sold so many consoles. Like that's the only time that we ever had 
three consoles in the market sold 80 plus a piece. 80 plus million yeah. a piece. That's the only generation we ever had that many consoles sold. That's probably why they spit out so many Sonic games because they saw the money. And and the sad part about it, a lot of Sonic, a lot of Sega fans supported some of those garbage ass games, and it sold well on the Wii. It sold well. But Colors was a good game. I, I give Sega that. That was a good game. I, I love Colors and I love Generations. But the Wii, you got like the the short end of the stick with that exclusive Sonic deal. Oh All yeah. Those games that the Wii you got yeah. from Sonic were trash. That was trash. Oh yeah, the questions, the questions. They, they asking questions. Oh, oh, let's get some questions. Oh, man, we just talking about Sonic. Uh, let me see. Uh, Dave J say he misses Zen Gamer. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think Zen Gamer. I, I don't know. I think Dave J came from his channel to my channel. Cause he he was supporting him Probably. first before he came to me. I believe. Uh, let me see. Let me uh, see. What, what do you think of the Neo Geo games making it more colorful on the Switch? I love Neo Geo games. I Me want to get um, that Metal Slug game. I, I love Metal Slug. Metal Slug's my. I used to love going to the. You know. You know. Back then, you go to a grocery the arcades, store. Yeah. You go to the arcades, or you go to uh, go to a grocery store, and every grocery store I always have an arcade. I used to love. Mm -hmm. I used to love going to the grocery store because all I see is uh, Metal Slug, and right besides Metal Slug is always Marvel vs. Capcom. I used to love going there because that was my two favorite games. That was my <laughs> favorite games playing. You know, but yes, I, I did bought Metal Slug 3 today. It's a outstanding game. We need more games like that. I don't mind if Neo Geo come yeah, back. Get it eventually. They need to make another Metal Slug. Like, come back. Like, those were some awesome games. Who makes those? Ah, oh, man, I don't even know. I forgot. I know it's from Neo Geo, but who is the developers? Are they the developers too? I don't think so. Who will win a Smash did somebody just actually say who who will win a Smash Brothers Switch real game or, you know what you you play? I would obviously win. <laughs> I always like that. Okay, okay. It's from uh, SN SNK is the publisher, and the developers are. There's so many developers. What the hell? Oh really? It looks like it's from SNK. Get that Marvel vs. Cap. Yeah, I, I, would, I would destroy your mind in Smash Brothers. Add get, Mario Kart. Get that, Switch. get that Marvel vs. Capcom three. I just bought on the PlayStation. Get in the place. I'm gonna tear your ass up. <laughs> I tear your ass up. <laughs> okay, who would? Uh, okay. Oh my. So, oh fuck. All these Sega shit. Um. You, so much Sega crap. So here. much Sega <laughs> shit. The PS5 announcement for 2020. Do you think Nintendo yeah. should give consumers the option to purchase Switch without the dock? I you think, know what? I think I think they're gonna eventually. I think upgrade so. the Switch. Like you're gonna buy a more powerful Switch two years down the road, and you can buy just the Switch and plug it into your existing dock. I think that would be a smart business move of Nintendo because there's a lot of handheld gamers out there. They just want the hand. Yeah, and they're already conditioned to upgrade their con their 3ds or whatever every year or two. Mm -hmm. So I, I imagine they're gonna give you steady upgrades to your Switch every couple of years. Yeah. Drop another, maybe instead of 300, it'll be 200 for just the actual Switch, mm -hmm. and then you just plug it into your dock. Yeah, I think that, uh, that would eliminate their hardware problems. Oh yeah, and it would keep them future proof. Yeah. You know, that way, the console gamers and handheld gamers have a choice on where if they want to play at home or on the go, or have it only mm -hmm. on the go. So that, I think that'd be a smart business move for Nintendo. Uh, Area seventy three said uh, PS five announcement before twenty twenty would lead in a ride. <laughs> in a ride. <laughs> I as as strongly the PS four is going, I say I don't even think about PS five right now. Just keep going at least another two exactly. to three years. What the hell do you need a PS five for? Like, like all the games are coming to PS four anyway, and they're selling good. So just. Just leave it alone if it's, not, if it's not broken. Don't fix it. Hell, the PS3 just now, they just now freaking in production on it. They finally and, retired the PS3. And we are talking about PS5. Like, come on, chill with that. Okay, pay the enthusiasts. Where do you guys see the install base of the Switch reaching if a mainline Pokemon game gets announced for this year? Oh, my God. That... Uh, like, if they announce Pokemon this year at E3, it's honestly, fucking... Honest, honestly, honestly, honestly. Are sold honestly, like it, it has to be a guarantee that Pokemon is coming out this year because there's like Nintendo is not breaking these numbers out their ass. There has to be a reason. Software sells right. consoles, it sells hardware. If you got the software for the hardware, it's gonna sell. So, what, what, what 
software will lead to a lot of sales. Pokemon, Metroid, in which we've been asking for for a very long time. You got Mario uh, Odyssey coming out. You got Splatoon. Like there, you got Fire Emblem. That's about to. Uh, it's in the works right now. There's a lot of games that we don't know about that's going to come out on the Switch, in which they're going to mm-hmm. announce at E3. So I, I, um, I guess with Nintendo, I expect a lot of good, great announcements at E3, and we just like less than three months away from E3. So I expect. A lot of yeah, good games. Getting close. Getting close. Oh, this guy's saying Sonic Forces looks underwhelming. What if I told you Sonic Forces was coming to your Scorpio? Would it be amazing then? It is coming to Scorpio. It's, go- it's, so. it's coming on all consoles. Now he'll change his tune. <laughs> uh, let's see. I am a refugee from Zen Gamer's channel. <laughs> That's funny because Zen is an Xbox refugee now. Okay, let's see. Who said uh, that? Who said that? Was that Dave? Dave James. Oh, okay. <laughs> Perfect. <Yeah. laughs> wow. Mm, let's see. Which company do you think will drop out of the console race first? And do you think they will go third party? A lot of people. Honestly, if anybody's going to drop out, it would be Microsoft. Microsoft. Because, like, they basically focus more on their PC, which is pissing off a lot of their Xbox yeah. fans. Yeah. They, they're the ones that are, like, in general, a software company anyways. And for them, they could just put their games on PC and they would be fine because they already own the entire PC market. And their Xbox brand doesn't make them money. And their investors constantly want them to do something about it or kill off the Xbox as a brand. But, like, they could totally just become... Uh, software only company and put their games on PC. <laughs> our <laughs> our favorite troll, Muhammad Ali. <laughs> He's an Xbox One exclusive in 2017. Pits people, <laughs> rise and shine. Halo Wars to Voodoo Vest Remastered. Was it Tacoma? What the hell? Is it? Go? What? <laughs> Cuphead, Crackdown Three, Phantom Dust, U Three. Said it's some trash games you name. <laughs> Just stop it. Just stop Jesus it. These are trash. These are trash games. Maybe Halo Wars. Okay, it looks like some, it's not my style, but I hear from a lot of people they actually like Halo Wars. Blue Vince. <laughs> Blue Vince, seriously. Come on, Come on bro. Be Come real. On. Like, the only game on that list that isn't fucking garbage, potentially, is Crackdown 3. And, and Cuphead for a smaller game. He's a uh, uh, demand that Metroid doesn't sell a lot at all. Honestly, yeah, it does. It, 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 it does. It's tier franchise. It's I won't say C. I say B because the, the, their biggest selling game was uh, Metroid Prime. I think it sold almost three million, so that's not bad. But you gotta remember, that's not bad. What are you talking about? Splatoon outsold it. That's a new IP. Well, you gotta remember the GameCube didn't sell that that that's many. Just- so what happened if the GameCube had like a, more than the so double the Wii U? What are you talking about? Yeah, well, but honestly, <laughs> but you gotta remember around you gotta remember like first person shooter around that uh, first person shooters around that time was it was getting popular, it wasn't as popular as it is now. Uh, Halo, Halo was on top ha- of the yeah, world. Halo though. was on top of the world, but a lot of people wasn't giving uh, Nintendo any credit because they refused to to uh, step their game up with the online. If they would have online and been, uh, if, I don't know. If, man. If, when it comes to uh, when let, it comes let's, to let's be honest, F Zero and Metroid, to me they're C tier franchise. Let's, let's, as far let's, as sales go, not quality. Let, let's let's be honest. If they would have had multiplayer and internet on the GameCube, Metroid would have sold a lot more. That. That would basically make Halo so great because of the multiplayer aspects. It had a great game. The campaign was great, but we get to play Halo together. Like we be having a lot of game nights. We had like we be playing on like two, three TVs in the house, like two, three different Xbox consoles. We've been having fun. Like Nintendo, yeah. they didn't do that with with Metroid. They didn't do it. So just think if a new Metroid come out this year or whatever or next year, and first person shooters is very popular. So I think it might be different. It. That's what I'm saying. First person shooters is, is very popular these days. So I I expect Metro to sell a lot more these days than back then. That's what I'm thinking. Hmm. It's it's a good franchise. We'll it's just it's just underappreciated. That's what I think. It's just it, it's underappreciated because Nintendo made it unappreciated. Sony is going to make the PS5 a VR only machine. <laughs> oh, that would be stupid. Yeah. Hopefully that doesn't happen. <laughs> Okay, when, uh, when which game do you think is gonna sell more? Super Mario Odyssey, 
Sonic Force, Sonic Mania, <clears throat> Breath of the Wild, Splatoon 2, Arms, or Xenoblade 2? Easy answer, and that's Mario Odyssey. Mario Odyssey. I would love for... It, uh, uh, what, Sega do uh, Sonic, Sega do have a strong I said Sega well, Sonic have a strong uh, fan base as well too but I don't know it depends on, it depends on the quality of the game if the quality is really good then I'm not I'm not saying it's gonna outsell Odyssey it's gonna be up there hanging with it I'm, I'm still saying Odyssey Mario Odyssey is gonna still outsell, say, uh, outsell Sonic but if this Sonic game gonna be like a um a modern like like a Sonic Adventures type of game, like in which that we all love, then I think it's gonna sell a lot because uh, Sonic is still an iconic franchise, just like just like Mario. It's just they don't have a console to put where well, they don't have their own console no more. It's just what pisses me off about it. Hmm. What else is in here? What do you expect to? Still that <laughs> when you guys expect to see a more powerful version of Switch, I say. 2019, 2020. Ah. Yeah, I think two years they'll get a new one. Probably, yeah, maybe. I think they will have an, another uh, more powerful because they always come out with like different different um, uh, 3DSs every other year or whatever. Uh, Xeno, Xeno 2 come out 2017. I don't know, man. Nintendo keep on reiterating that it's going to come out. They keep on letting us know. I don't know why they keep doing it if they're not going to do it. So, I don't know. It's a big question mark. But I'm, I think so. I'm glad they, that... They reconfirmed it. Year, I think so. the, I think the reason why they're doing it because they knew how long that we waited for Chronicles X to come out. Well, we knew about that game for like three or four years before we even purchased the game. That was the frustrating part about it. Mm-hmm. All right, let's take a couple more questions. We're going to end this podcast. A couple more questions. Okay, let's see what else is here. <laughs> exactly. Get get out of here, real with that bullshit. Sonic isn't doing anywhere near as much as Mario or Splatoon. <laughs> Whatever. Sonic is still an icon franchise. I never said Mario sells more. I never said that. Never said that. But look at the overall sales of Sonic. Like they say, they made a lot of money off of Sonic. They, as far as software goes, they sold I think about two hundred something million softwares of Sonic games. Period. That's a lot. Oh. Yeah, that is a lot. Yeah. It's not Mario levels, but it's still pretty good. Yeah. He said, get the fuck out of here. Oh, he's mad. <laughs> <laughs> he's, that, was he's a, mad. that was a mad comment. <laughs> I know something. I never. New 3DS came out in 2014, three years after old 3DS. All right. So three years, two, three years. I don't. Three years is better than two, I guess. It's, you don't have to buy a new console so fast. Mm -hmm. Like, we'll see. It's definitely going to happen, though. You're going to be able to get an upgraded Switch down the road. What do you think, uh, Call of Marathi saying that Zelda getting great reviews because industry buys? He says Zelda does nothing better than games, uh, games before it. I know he said that. Mm hmm. He's Colin Marotta, He's basically saying that uh, Zelda getting great reviews because industry bias. He says Zelda does nothing better than games before it. Uh, like, why does he even say things like that? Like, he knows that game is incredible and who, it's the best fucking game that's come out. Matter of fact, who was the this generation? Who was the originators of open world games, people? Who was the originators? The Legend of Zelda for the NES was the original open world game and what Nintendo just did right. with their latest their latest game they went back to their roots how dare him say something like that like come on who is the originators who is the pioneers of open world I, like this is he just a he's an ass hat nah. well if they make a game around Mario and Sonic Mario Sonic Limits? <laughs> That's the only game I know. Will you throw away your Switch if Sonic Forces managed to get past a 90 but Metacritic score? Hey <laughs> 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 man, there's so much Sonic hate going on in this chat, man. <laughs> so much Sonic hate. You just love when you talk about Sonic. <laughs> How would you react if Nintendo released a Nintendo smartphone as a companion to the Switch? 
Like an actual cell phone, like an Android cell phone. Oh, wouldn't it be funny to know? I, <laughs> wouldn't it be funny to know? Give us a cell phone, and it costs five hundred dollars. The only thing we, we can call, we can't, we can't text. And, and all we can do is call. <laughs> no, no texting. No texting. No web browsing. No, <laughs> no, no GPS. And if you want to add someone to your, if you want to add someone to your contact list, you got to get their friend code. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> oh damn! Are you, are you, you pissed off Nintendo fanboys for that comment, Alex. You just oh, you just pissed them off with that one. <laughs> damn! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's just so funny. Did you see that uh, that Colin Moore? He already ha- he left funny, kind of funny. Oh, games I heard about I, I heard about some little harmless tweet that yeah, that his turned... buddy threw him under the bus. That's like, that's that's, that, that's pretty messed up. Like, I, I think Colin Moriarty is a piece of shit. Like, he's a worthless human being. <laughs> but, like, even for him, like, that was fucking brutal. <laughs> oh, my God. But, uh, is there any more questions before we before we head up? I, I, I promised my wife we was going to play a little video games before she go to sleep tonight. Go fin- we're going to finish up this Mario 3D world. We're going to finish it up. Mm. Uh, let's see here. I don't really see anything else. Will will you throw away your switch if Sonic Forces manages to pass ninety on Metacritic? That's what uh, I, I don't. That's that's what I said a while ago. That's what I said. You didn't hear yeah, it. Why why would we throw away our switch for that? Because they because because they Sonic haters. That's what it is. They haters. <laughs> yeah, I would be in a state of disbelief if that game got higher than ninety. I'll be like, what? Sonic's back? Oh, you a hater too? <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. You are a Sega hater. So yeah. <laughs> That that was way better. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> when uh, say going to release Seaman Two? I don't even mean. That. Damn. What? Oh, I don't remember the first Seaman. Seaman <laughs> or Seaman? I don't remember that game to be <laughs> honest. I just got struck by lightning in Zelda while fighting. I hate that shit. Oh, that the weather system in Zelda. Oh, it drives me. Oh my god, it's just crazy. You know what's so funny though is when it starts to, um, you, you see the spark come on Link or on your weapon. You can just throw the weapon at a bad guy. They'll pick it up and they'll get struck by lightning. <laughs> what well, the deal with that is like if you drop your weapons like that, like it's gonna get shattered as soon as it gets struck. Yeah, that's the only. Thing I, I, I did that one. Thing. I did that one time. I lost all my weapons. I'm like, fuck. So like every time I happen, I just uh, I fast travel to somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> I just fast trail. I said, fuck this. I ain't losing much shit. Well, I think that's it, guys. Uh, we had a good show today. We had 40 plus viewing. So, yeah, it was uh, it was cool. It was cool. Though. Anything else you want to throw out before we end this? Uh, Yeah, Tuesday we'll be doing another episode of uh, Team Red Talks Nintendo. This is going to be the Zelda Breath of the Wild cast. Uh, so, there will be spoilers. So, for those of you who have not beaten Zelda... Uh, maybe you should be wary of this week's episode. But if the rest of you who want to hear about the game, what we thought of the game, uh, make sure to check it out because we uh, have a lot to say about Breath of the Wild. So yeah, tune in for that on Tuesday. Okay, okay. If I'm not if I'm not too busy, I probably want to join y'all. If I ain't too busy, I, I got a lot I want to say about the game. Hey, you you saw my play? Yeah, yeah. You saw my playlist? You saw I played over 95 hours, so I don't yeah yeah I don't play this game. Yeah, a we lot. need to find a few more people that have beaten the game. Yeah, so yeah, man. Uh, yeah, y'all heard y'all. Uh, make sure y'all go to his podcast, uh, Team Rest Talk Nintendo, on Active Sin's uh, channel. His channel is in the link of the description below. So y'all make sure y'all go to his channel. You follow him, subscribe to him, follow him on Twitter and all that. And y'all make sure y'all follow me on Twitter and uh, Google Plus. And if this is your first time on his channel, you make sure y'all subscribe and hit that notification bell. So y'all will be informed whenever I upload a video or whenever Alex upload a video. And I guess after that, man, um, oh yeah, make sure you tune in to Real Talk with the Real Gamer podcast on Thursday. And um, as far as my individual podcast, as far as a Real Talk Q and A, I apologize. I hadn't done one last week. I've been busy. My kids were sick. Uh, you know they spent their whole entire spring break at home because they were sick. It stopped me doing the stuff I wanted to do, so uh, they feel a lot better. So I will get back on schedule this week. I will do a real talk Q and A with y'all guys. Now I know y'all been waiting on that. 
And uh, of course, um, I'm gonna do a little bit more content, and I'm gonna do as much as I can because I got other stuff I have to do outside of YouTube. But I guess after that, man, like I said, I really appreciate y'all ongoing uh, support, and we will see y'all on the next ride. Y'all, peace out. See ya. All right.